Hello Art Beaters, Becky here for ArtBeats.com and I've got a brand new video for you today. Today we're doing a little overview of the Prestige Crystal colors available. We have got a really great color chart available on our blog that you can download and print out and I just wanted to show you all of the different colors that we have available in Prestige Crystal to go along with that color chart and kind of show off more of the sparkle. Prestige Crystal is a beautiful Austrian crystal. Very very high quality and we just love it and it's available in some beautiful colors that you might already know and love so let's take a look at some of those beautiful colors now We have this wonderful color chart of all our prestige crystal beads available on our blog. You can download this for free. It's a PDF, so you can download it, print it out, and keep it handy so you can keep track of all of the beautiful colors that we have available in prestige crystal. Prestige crystal is an Austrian crystal, so the sparkle is really beautiful. And I did want to show you a nice overview of all of the crystal bead colors that we have available. Keep in mind that this is just an overview of the crystal bead colors, so the colors listed here. This does not go into the crystal pearl colors or the effects like shimmer and AB that we also have available. So let's take a look at some of those beautiful Prestige crystal colors. Crystal is the first color and it's just a really beautiful clear crystal color. So lovely. Then we have white opal and that's just a nice milky white kind of opalescent color. So beautiful. I love that look. Next up is light silk and again this is just a soft silky neutral color. It is like the name implies like silk, just a little bit of hint of color in there, almost like a sand tone. Really beautiful. After light silk comes silk. Just has a little bit more color than light silk. Again, a really nice neutral that works with a lot of different colors. After silk is the sweet light peach color. So this is more of a peachy pink color. Again, still subtle enough to be considered a neutral. Then we have rose water opal, another favorite. This is another kind of milky opalescent color. Soft pink like rose water would be. Really delicate, sophisticated, sweet color there with the rose water opal. Up next, we have the Vintage Rose. Again, this is a wonderful, almost like just a blush of color, just a soft, neutral pink that you could use with a lot of different things. Um, again, this is the Vintage Rose, so it has kind of an antique feel. So beautiful. Then we're getting into more of the True Pinks. We have Light Rose. Light Rose is that classic Kind of light pink color again really delicate and sweet very feminine really beautiful and then you've got more of that blush tone you've got the true rose color just a really nice pink you can see this one's a lot more saturated so so pretty blush rose is a little bit darker than vintage rose a little more dusky but a nice kind of neutral vintage pink color pod paraja is the nice transition from pink to red it's almost like a melon color really bright and vibrant love that color then we have light siam which is a really rich red hue very very vibrant love that really beautiful sparkle on the light cyan and then you have scarlet scarlet is a beautiful red um, really rich and romantic color i really like the scarlet especially for holiday designs then you've got the ruby color which is a little bit more 
of a purpley red. It's got some some burgundy undertones. But ruby is another really nice color to choose for your designs. Again, it has beautiful sparkle. Then you get into Siam, which is a true deep, rich red, that dark red, a blood red almost. I love Siam. It's dramatic. It's elegant. Really nice. Then you start to transition into the purples with fuchsia. Fuchsia is like a purpley purpley pink red, a really fun color. Um, I think fuchsia is very playful. I love pairing it with oranges and greens for kind of a spring summer vibe. Just a really fun color there and it looks good with other reds too. From fuchsia you get into amethyst which is just a classic color for jewelry. Um, beautiful birthstone color, nice uh, deep purple there. And after amethyst, we have the lovely iris color. This color is kind of a softer purple. Again, pretty subtle. It pairs well with that uh, neutral silk colors. Just a really nice soft purple color there. And then after iris, you have light amethyst which is a really subtle soft purple color after light amethyst you have violet and this color is a little more purpley than light amethyst they're very similar but this one is just a little bit more saturated with those shots of purple sparkle so that's a really nice option after violet we have tanzanite which is a classic choice again this is more of an icy purple a little colder than amethyst um, but just gorgeous sparkle there now we're transitioning into our blues that tanzanite is more of a blue undertone purple so now we have light sapphire which is a nice light blue color again icy and beautiful really love that um, and then we have light azure which is a super super light ice sky blue just a hint of blue um, in there so really nice for icy airy designs great pick for weddings or ocean looks then after that we have aquamarine another great classic color choice Beautiful, kind of ocean blue, light blue, sky blue, really nice color there. That's aquamarine. And then we have, yet again, a classic sapphire. Beautiful sapphire blue there in crystal. Again, these are all prestige crystal colors. Just such a pretty sapphire blue there. After sapphire, we have capri blue, which looks a little bit more like uh, the ocean, maybe a tropical ocean coast. It's a really nice, very deep blue. And along those lines, we also have majestic blue, which just looks like an ocean mystery, just an, an, enchanting, an enchanting blue. Look at that sparkle. Amazing. You could get lost in that blue. Love that one. After Majestic Blue, we have Montana, which reminds me of a country night sky. Um, it's a deep dusky blue with kind of black and gray undertones. You can just picture little silver stars with this color. So that's Montana. And then after Montana, we have light turquoise. Light turquoise is another splash of blue color, another tropical kind of ocean blue. Very beautiful. Blue Zircon is up next. This one's more of a teal blue, I would say. Um, really nice choice for tropical looks. Spring and summer, um, you could pair it with more rich tones. There's a lot you can do with Blue Zircon. That's a really fun color. After Blue Zircon, we have Denim Blue. It is similar to Montana. It's just a darker blue more like denim jeans um, so it's got those kind of gray undertones 
really nice chic choice would look good with metallics after denim blue you have black diamond which is more of a silvery gray color would look really good with uh, clear crystal and silver components you could even pair it with gold because it's a nice in-between color um, so that's black diamond and then after black diamond we're getting into our greens we have citrus green this is a newer color um, this is like a lemon lime color really bright really vibrant really eye-catching loving citrus green and then we have the classic peridot peridot is a nice kind of grassy green this is a really nice green for fresh designs eye-catching designs great for spring and summer then you have aronite which is a kind of a softer green almost sage like it's a really beautiful color and then we have the classic choice of emerald which is a deep rich green another great birthstone option in emeralds after emeralds we have the color grayish which is like as the name implies a gray beige another great neutral that you can combine with a lot of different colors this one's going to work with a lot and speaking of neutrals up next is light colorado topaz it's kind of like the silk colors the peachy colors it's just got a little hint of sandy color so really nice warmth in this color here and then we have jonquil which is a very pale uh, almost lemon yellow color so really nice soft yellow color in the jonquil there we're getting more into our oranges and browns this is golden topaz which is just such a warm beautiful color really love that and then you have the light topaz which is more of a yellow so this is like a classic yellow color that light topaz after light topaz we have classic topaz which is more of that warm orangey amber color of topaz this is a great color really warm and sparkly after topaz we have light amber which is a really nice option for brown in your designs it's a really warm brown with just little hints of golden sparkle amber gold sparkle really beautiful and then right after light amber we have smoked amber which is a deep almost chocolatey brown this is a really rich option for your designs you can see how deep that color is so beautiful and last but certainly not least we have a classic choice for all kinds of jewelry designs jet which is our classic black color and this is just such a great option because the way it gleams and shines and designs is so sleek so chic so elegant so we love a good jet crystal bead so those are the that's the basic overview of the colors we have available of prestige crystal of course this doesn't cover all of the effects like aurora borealis or shimmer effect and we also um, have different pearl crystal colors as well so be on the lookout for a video of those colors coming soon but in the meantime you can head over to our blog and download the color charts for all of our prestige crystal at artbeads.com i'll leave the link in the video description for you Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you were inspired by all of the beautiful prestige crystal colors and make sure to download that color chart on our blog. Uh, make sure to leave a like and a comment so we know you watched and enjoyed. Let me know if you have any questions or what you'd like to see next. We love hearing from you. And as always, make sure to subscribe to our channel so you're the first to know when videos like this are out. Thank you so much and I will see you next time. Bye.